What's up guys, Gary with self.dev. Today we're gonna learn how to build a web scraper with Python using Beautiful Soup. I had somebody request this in one of my live streams. If you have any suggestions for videos or anything you wanna see me try to do, let me know in the comments below. Beautiful Soup's surprisingly easy, so as long as you know the basics of HTML and Python, you should be able to get through this. Let's go. All right, so two things before we get started. You need to have Python installed. So if we go to our terminal and type in Python dash dash version, it'll tell us what version we have installed to make sure you have it installed. And you'll also need a text editor. So the we're gonna be scraping the website Planet Desert. We just wanna get the titles and the prices. In our little freelance scenario, we need to put these in a CSV for a guy. He wants to make sure his cactuses are competitively priced. So he's doing some market research. So in our terminal here, first thing we're gonna do is pip install bs4, and that will install beautiful soup4 for us. Then we want to make a directory with make dir, and we will call it Python scraping tutorial. And we will cd into that directory, and we want to touch a file called scraper.py. And then we will use code dot to open that directory up in VS Code for us. And we are good to go. We're gonna zoom in a little bit on that. All right, so now we need to import a few things. So we're gonna say from URL lib dot request. We want to import URL open. And then we want to say from BS4, we want to import beautiful soup. All right, next we need to get the URL that we're gonna scrape. So we'll go back to our browser, copy the URL, and we'll make a variable called URL to scrape and set it equal to that URL. Now, if you're trying to scrape something like Amazon, um, Amazon requires that you have headers when you send your request. Usually when browsers make requests, they say, hey, I'm Google Chrome, I need this information. When Python makes the request, it's just like, hey, give me this information. So Amazon says, no, you're not a browser and gives you a 503 error. To fix that, you just need to add headers. I'm not gonna go over that today, but if you Google how to add headers to your beautiful soup request, something should come up that can help you out. All right, next here, we are going to request the page. So we are going to say, we'll make a variable called request page and we will say URL open and then pass in the URL to scrape and then we want to read the response so we will say page HTML equals request page dot read and then we need to close the response so we'll say request page dot close And what this is doing, this is going out getting the page, reading the information and closing the request for us. So now we wanna actually start using beautiful soup. So we will say, we'll make a variable called HTML soup. And that will be equal to beautiful soup. And we want to pass in the page HTML. And then we wanna use the HTML parser on it. And this will let us basically pick through the HTML and pull out whatever we want. Now we want to get the titles and the prices. So we will need a group of all of those. The element we can grab is grid product content here. It contains both of the things we need. And it looks like each one of these divs has grid product content. So that's a safe element to pull. And we will say cactus items equal HTML soup dot find all. And then we wanna get all of the divs. So we'll pass div there that have the class grid product content. So that will go through our HTML soup and pull all the divs with this class and put them, to, put them in an in array for us so we can loop over it. And then we wanna use a loop. So we'll say for cactus in cactus items. We wanna get the title and the price. And we will say cactus.find. So find all is for when you wanna find multiple things. Find is when you wanna find the first instance of that occurrence. We'll say find and then 
what do the titles look like here? So if we inspect the title, it is just a div with a class product or grid product title. So we can grab that class and we'll do the same thing we did here. We'll pass in a div and then we'll say class equals grid product title. And then we'll just copy that and basically do the same thing for price here. So price is also a div, it just has grid product price instead of the grid product title. So all we need to do is swap out the class and then we should be good to go. This will pull the titles and the prices from the page. Now we also wanted to write that to a CSV. So we will say file name equals product dot CSV. And then we want to say F and pass in the I want to say open file name with the rate permission. And then we're also going to want headers on there. So we'll, we'll make a variable called headers equal to title and price. And then we also want to add a new line character because it is a CSV. And then we want to write the headers. So we'll say F dot write headers. And then that will write the headers to the file for us. Now we also want to write price and title. So down here, we will say f dot write title. And then we need to add a comma since it's a CSV. And then price. And then we will make sure the indentate indentation is equal there. And the last thing we want to do, we want to close the file. So we'll do f dot close. and then we should be good to go. So if we go back over to our terminal here and we type python scraper.py and let our script run. So we had an error here. What this gives us is an HTML tag. We actually just want the text. So we're just gonna add text to the end here, dot text. And then if we save and run that again. All right, so it didn't print anything because we don't have a console log or print statement anywhere. But if we look in our files, we do have this products CSV now, and it's got all of the titles and the prices nicely sorted for us. If we look in our previewer here, we can see what it would look like in Excel and looks nice and pretty. Got the title for the header and the price, and we are good to go. So hope this helped you guys out. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you have any suggestions on videos or anything else you want to see me do, let me know as well. And we've also got a Discord. If you can come hop into Discord, talk tech, and just make friends with other aspiring developers. I also do resume reviews. So if you want to send me your resume, my link, my email is in the description. I will block out your information, but it will be in a video if I use it. And I think that's about it. So I will see you next time. Peace. Round one.